Baker making his official NFL debut against the Patriots and lighting up Bill Belichick's defense. The Miami Dolphins struggled to start the year. Led by the NFL's first ever Chinese QB, the Dolphins sit at 2-5, and five, only good for third in the division. Although I am 8th in the NFL in passing yards and 8th in passing touchdowns, I also have 8 interceptions and 5 fumbles on the season for 13 turnovers. And the Dolphins are 31st in the league in offensive yards. I'm facing heavy criticism from not only Dolphins fans, but from the Chinese people as well. They can't believe I am making millions of dollars playing the sport of football, all right? I'm making more money than every Chinese doctor in the world. It's outrageous. But can we turn our year around with a late season push to the postseason and salvage the year? Let's find out as we enter week eight at Ford Field against the Lions. I see Aiden Hutchinson in man coverage against Mike Gesicki. You know I gotta throw it up and give him a chance. This guy just makes play after play. He has to be in the discussion for the best tight end this year as he makes a nice toe tap catch to bring the ball on the goal line and the drive with a rushing touchdown to put us up by two touchdowns hey 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 then we come out of half and throw back to back to back interceptions i'm going back to stanford to finish my undergrad three straight picks against the lions yeah i'm unemployed but after finding a deep ball to tyreek hill we get the rushing touchdown to take the lead back but then jared goff just transforms into Tom Brady and just turns up. No way, he just scored in 40 seconds. So now we got 28 seconds to get a field goal with three timeouts. And we instantly start with a deep ball to Waddle. Timeout Miami, busting coverage. We then find Waddle wide open once again and Sanders kicks the field goal to bring this game into overtime. We win the toss, a touchdown wins it. Can the Chinese man get clutch and bring this one home? Second and 10, I hit the check down to Chase Edmonds who does a fantastic job fighting for more yards. Third and eight and Lions territory. We hit Gesicki from the pocket for a nice pickup to put the ball on the one yard line. And we gotta do it, are right? We gotta hit the CPU with the Madden cheese. Fullback dive, handoff, touchdown. We grab a huge win there against the Lions. Will this be the start of the turnaround for our season? As we head to Chicago for another road game. Our first career game at Soldier Field and our main focus this game is to limit our turnovers. We have turned the ball over way too many times this season. You know, it's just gotta stop. Coach McDaniel is furious with my turnovers, and now I'm pissed. I felt like the fans, the coaching staff, and even my own people from China were turning on me. I was not playing smart football, and I look like a shell of myself. But the one thing you don't want to see is a Chinese man that is angry. I've seen that slipper too many times throughout my childhood. I know how to respond from adversity as I hit a wide open Tyreek for the touchdown. And after scoring two consecutive touchdowns and forcing Duke Shelley to play a game of Twister, we cap off our day with a fourth touchdown and the win. Don't ever piss off the Chinese man. We take down the Bears to start a two-game winning streak. Can we keep the momentum going against the 5-3 and three Browns? It is my first time playing against the Massage Man. I feel like I'm representing all my Asian masseuses. I need to take down the Sean. 7-7 seven, seven game late in the second quarter. My right tackle still hasn't been deported. So I gotta throw him a shot. Ridiculous catch again by All Pro Gesicki. That's right, I said it, ladies and gentlemen. All Pro Gesicki. This man has been the best tight end in the NFL this season. And then I chose to throw a back shoulder to Chase Edmonds, which ends up in a pick six. <sighs> Fourth quarter, 2.52 left. We are down by seven. We need a touchdown to knock this game up. Third and 14. I drop back and Miles Garrett's scary ass is coming for my head. I get rid of the ball just on time and I draw a roughing the passer call. Let's go to the next play right away just in case he tries to hit me with a helmet. All right, fourth and three. We need a first to keep our hopes alive. I snap the ball. I drop back. Big Miles is coming for me again. I get rid of the ball fast and Waddle makes a clutch catch to keep the ball rolling. First and 10. 22 seconds left. I find Waddle yet again who makes another big catch. Timeout Miami. 16 seconds left. First and goal. I need a touchdown to survive. I'm looking, looking, looking. Buying more time. Miles is on my ass again. But I find a touchdown to Sed Wilson. What a drive to tie the game with 10 seconds left. And we head into the second overtime game of the video. First and 10. All I see is green grass on the right. So I tuck the ball and plant my feet in the grass. Woo! 10 
Let's go. Where are we going? Coach McDaniel loves the way I'm running, so he calls a QB power. He wants to see the ball in the Chinese man's hands. Grant Delpit, you can come get some too. Play action pass on first and 10. I'm rolling to my left. I'm about to take a hit. Two. Touchdown. Waddle. Three straight wins for the Fizz, and the Chinese man is starting to understand the NFL. He throws for 370 and four touchdowns. The bye week is here, and I'm just enjoying the view. That was a little random. But after taking down the Texans for our fourth straight win, we are headed out to Santa Clara to play back at the barn right down the street from Stanford. All of my former college teammates and coaches were in the stands watching. So you know I had to put on a show. First and ten. I throw off balance. Deep ball to Tyreek Hill. And he wins the jump ball. I'm back. And I'm showing the Stanford crowd some shades of my game in college. Going for a huge 43-yard run. Which results in another touchdown to Tyreek I recall for my 30th touchdown pass of the year. Late in the third, we are up by four. I'm rolling out to my right, and I find a touchdown while getting hit by Nick Bosa. The Niners tried the challenge, but I knew there was no way the challenge was going to get reversed, all right? Because the man who threw the challenge flag was Kyle Shanahan. So, of course, the call is upheld. The touchdown stays on the board, and we end up kneeling it out to get our fifth straight win. I go for 271, four touchdowns, 63 yards over the ground. The Chinese man is taking the NFL by storm. That win puts us in a playoff position as the 7th seed. Which means that every game from here on out is essentially a must win. Before we get into the next game, this video is sponsored by Raycon. Raycon is the company that made the everyday earbuds, which are the earbuds that I have in right now. I love using my Raycons when I'm working out because they are sweat and water resistant. They never fall out of my ears and they are so easy to control. You can easily switch tasks, turn up the volume, or take a call all with just a touch. But personally, my favorite feature about these earbuds is that I can change the sound profile of the music that I'm listening to. I use listen to a lot of hip-hop and EDM so I set my earbuds to bass sound which gives all my music a bass boosted sound it's great for songs with strong beats but I also switch it over to pure sound mode when I'm studying or when I'm doing schoolwork so that I get perfect clarity to hearing every single note the sound quality on these earbuds are just as good as any other brand but it's only half the cost they have up to eight hours of playtime and the case which is also the charger holds up to 32 hours of battery always got the carbon blacks on but they also have different color options when you are purchasing. So if you're a big supporter of the channel and you need a pair of earbuds, click the link in the description box or go to buyraycon.com slash hepezai to get 15% off your first purchase. That's buyraycon.com slash hepezai to get 15% off your first purchase. Shout out to Raycon for sponsoring this video. Now, let's get back into the video. Week 14 versus Justin Herbert and the Chargers. They are a 6-6 six and six AFC team. SoFi Stadium, this is pretty much a home game for us. There's like six Chargers fans in the stadium. Such a dead joke, but we are down by seven in the second quarter. And there's only one read I need to make. Tyreek Hill 101, that's Brad Basket. Touchdown. It's not Burrow Chase, not Allen Diggs, not Hurts Brown, it's Zy and Hill. This is the best QB wide receiver duo in the league. We move to the fourth and it is a three point game. After doing this, on second and five. It is now third and 19, all right? I don't see any receivers open downfield, so I'm gonna take it myself. Got a long way to go, but I'm tiptoeing on the sideline. I weave in and out, I see a bit of daylight. Can I win the foot race? Touchdown, Dolphin! You just can't find speed like this anywhere else in China. He's one of one. But after Justin Herbert responds with a touchdown, he put together yet another two-minute drive, which resulted in a 46-yard field goal to tie the game. We win the toss for the third time this video. Three overtimes, three coin toss wins. First play, I hit Tyreek Hill, who makes a sweet toe-tap catch. Second play of overtime, I find Tyreek once again for another big game. Staley is lost. Third play, I see Tyreek is hot. So I gotta keep the simple and make one read. I had to throw it up! Touchdown, Dolphin! No chance he is covering him one-on-one. -on -one. Is that Kyle Van Noy? The disrespect, one-handed snake. And we win our sixth game in a row. The Dolphins are the hottest team in the NFL. As we are now winning the AFC East as the third seed in the AFC. But now we play one of our biggest rivals, Josh Allen and the Buffalo Bills. We lost the first matchup in week two, but I am a completely different QB and I'm ready to keep this hot streak rolling. Late in the second quarter, we are trying to get extra points before we get into the locker room. We are running hurry up to save our timeouts. I'm trying to escape the pocket. 
fumble. He gets me twice in the same year for a sack fumble touchdown. I can't believe it. We are now down by six late in the third. Von Miller is just eating my right tackle's ass. But we need a touchdown to win. I'm rolling back out to my right. And I'm trying to find Tyreek Hill here. But he drops it. He had a walk-in touchdown on that play. I don't know what happened there. But on second down, I find Sed Wilson up the middle who sheds off a tackle to pick up the first down. Second and goal. We're chewing as much clock as possible. It's a handoff to Edmonds. We get the lead back. So now it comes down to the defense. Can we prevent a field goal with just over a minute left? Josh Allen is driving. I'm on the verge of dropping one on the sideline. Third and nine. Diggs gets a huge gain, which puts the Bills in field goal range with one timeout. What? Uh, I don't know what just happened. Buffalo had a timeout, but I love EA Sports. All right, we don't even look happy jogging off the field. I don't know what happened there, but I outplayed Josh Allen, and we have won seven games in a row. And there are only three games left in the regular season. Now we are playing Aaron Rodgers and the Green Bay Packers. And you know the law. If it's one-on-one -on -one for Tyreek Hill, then we throw the law. And of course he makes the grab right on Eric Stokes' head. He's got to be Offensive Player of the Year. This game ends up going to overtime tied at 17 our fourth overtime game of the video and i see one-on-one -on -one with tyreek hill again i don't care if he's playing cushion i'm gonna take a shot oh and our win streak ends to green bay i choked that game for sure committing five turnovers the pressure of making the playoffs is starting to get to me as we fall to nine and six and the bills and jets are right behind us waiting for us to slip up once more. So from here on out, every game is a must win if we want to clinch a playoff berth. And we travel up to Foxborough for a game in the cold against the Patriots. And I struggled early in this one as the pressure keeps increasing. Fans are expecting this roster to make the playoffs no matter who's at QB. And they are tired of seeing QB changes in Miami. I felt like I had to deliver despite the fact that it was my rookie year. But on the next drive, I drop back and I lace a dart right up the seam to Tyreek Hill. And we conclude the drive with a rushing touchdown. Which then we follow with another rushing touchdown. Whoa! Backflip? Get me in team China Gymnastics right now. Late in the third, we are up by five. First and ten in Patriots territory. I drop back and I decide to float the corner route to Tyreek Hill. That's an NFL throw right there, ladies and gentlemen. One of my best throws of the year to Tyreek Hill in the corner of the end zone. Touchdown. Chase Edmonds later on ices the game against the Patriots to secure Hear the win at Foxborough. Who the hell is that? Not only am I one game away from clinching a playoff berth in my rookie year, but I am also announced as a Pro Bowl QB in the AFC. The first Chinese player to ever make the Pro Bowl. What a year for the Miami Dolphins quarterback. But we have one final accomplishment that we have to achieve. Regular season finale against the Jets. We must win this game to clinch the AFC East as Buffalo and the Jets are both 9-7 looking to win this game. If we win, we're in. We control our destiny but if we lose and buffalo wins we are out first drive of the game i cork my body trying to make a ridiculous throw and i get picked off anthony barr ends up coming up with the interception and he ends up taking it all the way for a pick six what a brutal start for the dolphins late in the second half we are in scoring position to get points before half i'm rid of the defense i see a size advantage i throw a jump ball but the ball is picked off once again miami fans in the stadium are shocked as they cannot believe what is happening right now we are losing despite allowing zero passing yards to the jets to Zach Wilson. The offense has to step up in the second half if we want to make it to the postseason. And after the Jets start the half with a field goal, we now face a huge uphill battle. First and 10, we're running empty, desperate for points. I luck the safety off and I hit Zed Wilson on the post route for a big pickup. And we finally get on the board with a slant to Tyreek for seven points. Defense allows a late field goal and here we go. It is time for the Chinese man to take over. Fourth quarter, 152 left, down by six. Play Playoff berth and division title on the line. Does the Chinese QB have what it takes to make the playoffs? First play, I roll out to my left and I take off. And that Fatso is not catching me. I'm cutting inside, looking for contact too. Second play of the drive, Jets send the blitz, but I find some separation between Sed Wilson and his DB, so I gotta hit it. And just like that, the Dolphins are in the red zone. First down, fantastic protection by the O-line. And I scramble out to my left again and get out of bounds to pick up our third straight first 
down. So now we are on the five yard line with 44 seconds left. We just need to get in the end zone because there's no way Zach Wilson's bum ass gets a field goal. First and goal. I hit Kasicki on the drag and he goes backwards for whatever reason. We only have one timeout though, so we gotta go fast. Second and goal. Jets don't send the slide. Robert Sala, have you lost your mind? Touchdown, Dolphins. What a game winning drive right there by the rookie QB. And we defeat the New York Jets to win the AFC East and clinch a playoff berth. After a rough two and five start, we end the year with a nine and one record. I finished my rookie year with 4,767 passing yards, 38 passing touchdowns, both good for six in the NFL. But in the next video, we will find out what the NFL playoffs are made of as we are not only looking to win the Super Bowl as a rookie, but become the first Chinese QB to raise the Lombardi. Dolphins, Raiders, AFC wildcard game. The playoffs start in the next video.